shall not pass. Ah, uh, Gandalf, wear some shorts under the robe, man. You shall not pass. Guard retention. Ooh, I probably scared half you away with that title right there. Yeah, we're talking about Irene Aldana and her upkick, but what does that have to do with guard retention and not passing guard? Well, kind of everything. What does this have to do with guard retention? Well, very simple. Jordan, flail your legs, but uh, don't worry about guard retention at all. Okay, now don't let me pass your guard. Notice now Jordan's doing some really simple things. One, he's keeping his legs close to his body, knees over the chest, one slightly higher than the other. He's keeping tension in the legs. Very importantly, when I move right, he moves right. When I move left, he moves left. He stays centered. If I can get off centered, hold still for just a second. Check that out. Now we have a guard pass. If he simply follows me, sticks to me like glue, we don't have a guard pass. Now we gotta do some work. Aw. We wanted the easy way. But what actually happened in the fight, man? So what actually happened? Top fighter's putting pressure on. Irene pummels to the inside, gets this position, starts driving with the feet. A modified spider guard starts pushing. Her opponent reacts by standing. Okay. Now, what does Irene do? Basic guard retention. As her opponent starts to spin around, she plants a foot right here. But instead of simply regarding, boom, heel kick, boom, boom, at that point her opponent's down. Okay, so what's, what's so special about that? Stand up here and pass my guard. So grab a foot, do a guard pass. Okay, that's a really basic thing and you'll see that Irene's opponent grabs that foot and she's attempting a guard pass, something like this. I don't know if it's this specific guard pass she was trying for, but this is an excellent one for the sport of mixed martial arts. Jordan, start the guard pass. All right, now kneel down right here and kneel down right here. So now he's got weight and pressure here and right here. Now he can tee off, right? And if I start to try to hip escape, look, that just puts him right into side control. So that's a very, very intelligent thing that was going on in that fight as, in a, as a response to um, this position, right? So someone starts trying to pass your guard, right? Frame on them, get some hooks in, turn back in, right? If uh, maybe throw my legs over to the side, right? What do I do? Put a frame, get the hooks, get back in, pass to the other side, right? You might have done little drills like this. Again, just put a hook in, get back over here, right? When we add up kicks to this, this changes everything. So climbing the body, Opponent responds by standing, right? Attempting to pass, frame, kick, 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 okay? So that's, that's what happened. Now, is this something we should emulate? Is this gonna be a high percentage thing? Mm, if, if your guard retention skills are up to par. If they're not, if we're just flailing around like a child, here's what's going to happen. If your guard retention is poor, up kicks are not the answer. Up kicks are there to augment your ground game, not to replace it. So if I'm just kicking Jordan past my guard, go and pass, and my guard retention sucks, in about two seconds, he's gonna pass my guard any way he wants. Now, if I'm kicking past my guard and I'm following those principles, keep the knees in, right? Square up with him, tie him up, work for, a stand up, a sweep, or a submission, and use these up kicks to augment the game, not to replace it. Now, now we're in business here. One more axe kick to the liver. There are three main types of up kicks heel kicks, axe kicks, round kicks. For a heel kick, whenever possible, Add tension and explosion by pulling on the knee with the hand. Now, I could do this to the legs while sitting on my butt. Boom. I can post up on him. Boom, and go to the head or to the body. If he is leaning down, 
Boom, we've got a nice liver kick right there. Second one, axe kicks. Okay, this is what we saw Irene do. We can post up, bring the heel up, boom, bring this down. If his head is down, we can come up over the head, right? If our butt's on the floor, boom, we can come to the thigh, okay? Your up kicks will always have more power if you lift your, your butt off the floor, also a lot more range. You might notice I can't get anywhere close to his head up here. If I lift my butt up off the floor, especially if I post up on him, if I can grab a foot, post on the thigh, I can reach the head from the floor pretty easily, okay? And the third type is round kicks. Boom. Now a round kick from our butt doesn't have a lot of power. If we add a get up here, boom, we can reach the head. So if Jordan's standing over me, from this position, yeah, stand all the way up, all the way up. Don't even bring your head close to me, right? People generally feel safe from an up kick right here. Except you might notice I can totally reach his head from the floor with about 90 degrees of flexibility. You don't have to do the splits for an up kick from the floor, just like that. It's actually easier in many ways to do an up kick from the floor to the head than it is a head kick standing up, okay? Yes, it's a capoeira technique, martelo from the floor, however you say that. Anyway, one more time. We have heel kicks, boom, axe kicks, boom, and round kicks, boom, off the get up, or boom, to the legs from the floor. Why is a liver shot such a big deal? It is as close to an off switch as you are going to get on the human body. I said a liver kick is as close to an off switch as you're going to get in a fight, and that's not exactly true. It doesn't turn you off. Well, it kind of shuts down the body. You're fully conscious, it's very painful, but it's not the pain that stops you, it's the paralysis. So where's the liver? Right there, on your right side. If you dig under your ribs right here, under the bottom one, you'll find a nice entry point to it. Now the liver is a large organ, it wraps all the way around here, front, back, and so on. But a nice shovel hook, a kick, a knee, etc. right there. That's, again, as close to an off switch as you're going to get in a fight. Let's talk more about up kicks. Whenever we do up kicks, we have to be very concerned about guard retention. You shall not pass. Follow a few simple principles. Knees in, right? When he moves, we stay centered, right? If he is trying to pull a leg away from us, we bring ourselves in. We might not be able to pull the leg in if our opponent's stronger than us, but we can pull ourselves in. And you might notice if I pull myself in, look, it changed the position of Jordan's head, and now we can up kick to the head. Now, there were a few things in that fight. You might notice Irene's opponent, I'm blanking on her name. I keep calling her the opponent. That's probably not very respectful, but she did a really good job of keeping her head far away from up kick range. If you simply lean back a little bit, there's no way I can get Jordan in the head. If he leans down and starts looking at me, boom, that's going to be an easy up kick. If you don't know, lift the hips on the up kicks, okay? If you lift the hips, you'll be able to reach. Now, what Irene did was more of an ax kick boom, than an up kick. It was really a down kick, if you will. We call it an up kick since it's coming up from the floor, but it was an ax kick, boom, coming down. If you don't know what an ax kick is, it's a classic Taekwondo technique okay where we lift the leg up and then come down over the shoulder the clavicle or the head right up and then down we can axe kick from the ground and Irene's up kick was a perfect example so she framed here brought the leg up here boom heel down into the liver this is the most important part in the post fight press conference Irene Aldana said when asked about that kick this is something we practice in our gym a lot Hey, where'd I hear that before? You know what she did to make that work in the fight? She got out there and trained. That being said, thank you for watching. Now get out there and train. Brought to you by xmarshall.com. Use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off everything. That's xmarshall.com. High quality training gear and fight apparel.